Hey guys, it's MJ the student actuary and we're going to go through all the actuarial formulas that you're ever going to come across in this profession. And they can all be found in this orange book which you can take into the exam. So you don't have to learn any of these formulas off by heart but you're going to be using them so much that you will know them off by heart. So without further ado, let's look at uh, the formulas. And as you can see, we start off with mathematics. You need to know exponential functions, natural log functions, binomial expansion, Taylor series, um, integration by parts, double integrals, differentiating an integral. Then there's uh, Newton's Raphson's method, integrating functions, second order differential equations, gamma functions, Bayes' formula. Uh, then we go to statistical distributions like the binomial, the Bernoulli, the Poisson. Uh, negative binomial and the geometric and the uniform and then we go into all the continuous ones and um, which we have the Gaussian, the exponential and for all of these you need to know the moment generating function, the probability distribution function, all of those types of things. There's also the gamma, the chi, the uniform, the beta, the log normal, the Pareto, the Weeble, the Burr, that's a real weird name, Burr. Um, then you get the compound distributions where you start combining them and this compound Poisson distribution, you need to know the moments of these guys. The recursive formula for integer value distributions. Uh, then you need to know truncated moments. This is quite a cool little table. It shows you how all the distributions link together because they are all from one big happy family. Now we go into statistical methods, uh, sample mean and variance parametric inference, uh, maximum likelihood estimators, asymptotic distributions, that's Kramer, uh, Rayo, lower bound, likelihood ratio test. The theory behind that's quite insane. Linear regression models, uh, intermediate calculations, parameter estimations, distribution of the beta, variance of predicted means uh, response, testing the correlation coefficient, Fisher Z transformation, sum of squares relationship. Then we also have the analysis of variance, uh, known as ANOVA. There's single factor normal uh, model. There's the variance estimator. There's the chemical link functions from the whole exponential family. Uh, Bayesian methods, the relationship between the posterior and the prior distributions. Then there's empirical Bayes credibility, uh, parameter estimations, the credibility factor. Uh, we also have empirical Bayes credibility credibility model uh, version 2 and uh, then we go into compound oh, let me bring the book back compound interest increasing and decreasing annuity functions uh, variable interest rates then we have survival models Gumput's law Makem's law then their formula together empirical estimation Greenwood's formula for the variance of the Kaplan Mayer estimator mortality assumptions such as Balducci the general Markov model, uh, cosmogative forward differential equations, those things aren't too much fun. Graduation test, grouping of signs, serial correlation, variance adjustment factors, population projection models. Uh, then we also have annuities and assurances. Um, we have the moments, the whole life assurance, premiums and reserves. Tequilas, I don't know how you say that, we call it tequilas differential equation, uh, multi-state models. Uh, there's lots of models, mark of jump processes, Komogorov comes up again, forward and backwards equations, uh, Brownian motion and related processes, martingales for standard Brownian motion, distribution of maximum value, hitting times. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the orstein orbeck process. You know when it's German, it's really insane. Um, genius had come up with that. Monte Carlo methods, Box-Muller, Polar method. Then we've got the time series, these things you can use to predict the future, so they're worth knowing, like the autocorrelation functions, partial autocorrelation functions, you see you need to know matrices. Uh, then there's also time series frequency domains such as spectral density functions, the inversion formula, um, linear filters. So you do need to know some sort of mathematics when you take on uh, this profession. Then there's the box Jenkins methodology, the turning point test, and then we go on to economics. So utility theory, measure of risk aversion, capital asset pricing models, security market line, um, how to get the most efficient portfolio, 
interest rates models, spot rates and forward rates for zero coupon bonds, the SEEK model, I don't know how you say that. Uh, then there's finance, uh, price, price of a forward or a future contract, the binomial pricing tree uh, for risk neutral probabilities. I enjoyed doing those, they were quite fun. Um, stochastic differential equation, probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, the generalized Wainer process, but this Ito's, Ito's lemma, wow, that was quite tricky. And you can use that for to model like short-term interest rates with Holy, Hull White, Visek, Cox, Ingress, Roll, Ross. Yo, the names here are difficult. And then a famous formula, which other professions are also familiar with, is the Black Skulls formula for European options. And uh, remember, you can actually go quite far in depth with this. And then finally, put call parity relationships. And yeah, sure, that is the formulas in this uh, book. Then it also comes up with all the all the tables that you also need to learn off by heart. No, I'm joking. They are all in this book, which you can take into the exam. So you don't have to learn a lot. You just have to know um, how to use these things. But yeah, that's the video. Please give it a little like and a share. And subscribe to see some more videos by me. Cheers, guys.